I'm in a row. You've been in the top 10 for a really long time. You're one of the world's best players. And everybody who's at that level, it almost seems like their ultimate goal is to play the World Championship. Uh, how important is that as a personal goal for you? Is that, is that your ultimate um, motivation in chess as well? Um, I think at this point, yeah. I would say it has to be simply because I've accomplished so many other things. I mean, I, I was number two at one point in the world for a couple of months. Um, I won the US Championship. I, I've, I've won pretty much all the other titles that you can for the most part. So um, certainly I think it's, it, it's, it would be the crowning achievement to get, to get there to play a match. Um, obviously winning, you know, who knows. But, but just to get there would be something. So it, it is the ultimate goal. But again, even if I don't make it, it, it doesn't really affect me that much. There are, you know, after all their things in life. Right, and what are these other things that are very important <laughs> to you? Uh, well, we'll see, but I'm, I'm just saying that, you know, go, going forward beyond chess, I think there are other things as well that I have interest in, things that I would perhaps like to pursue, so, um, so yeah, I'll, I'll worry about those things in due time, but, but for the moment, my focus is still on chess. Right, and you, you're also in a really good place in your personal life, so being happy also helps um, mm -hmm. Just maintaining your level, I mean, that's an important part as well. Yeah, I mean, I think um, you obviously have to be positive. I think uh, positivity is always a good thing no matter what, um, no matter what, no matter what it comes to, whether it's a job, whether it's personal things, um, or, you know, or chess. Uh, I think in general, you have to be positive and happy. So uh, certainly, um, certainly it's helped me, and I think uh, that's probably why I've been so stable the last couple of years. But again, um, I do want to achieve more, so perhaps it's not a good thing at the same time. <laughs> No, I'm sure it's it's very encouraging. But tell us, what is the good and the not so good of dating a chess player? <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, I mean, I, I think in in general. Um the, the difficult part is that people travel so much I and mean, when you're traveling all the time it's very hard to have a, have a good personal life because uh, most people in the world are not traveling all the time. That's just not the nature of, uh, of, of you know, people's work or their, or their lives. So um, certainly traveling a lot makes it difficult um, and I think that's the number one thing. Secondly, I think financial stability. Um, you know, a lot of players who are not at the very top tend to they, they do okay, but it's, it's, not, it's not a comfortable life. You, you do struggle along the way. So I think that certainly makes it quite difficult. Um, so those are the two main things that make it difficult. I mean, the good things, obviously, are that you do get to travel. I mean, for a lot of people, uh, you don't have the opportunity to see the world. You don't have the opportunity to see different cultures, see, see people who are different from yourself. So I think uh, traveling and getting to see the world is definitely the, uh, the top, top benefit to being with a chess player. When someone studies your game, you almost get a feeling that you want to play more of a practical choice, like your moves are based on something that would pose the maximum trouble to your opponent rather than just being preoccupied by find, with finding the truth in the position. I do think the goal at the end of the day is to win. It, it, it is a game. You do have to win. Um, so uh, I, I, don't, I don't really believe in, in the truth or, or any of that sort of stuff because I think, I mean, in, in any position for the most part, there are, there are multiple moves that are just as good. Um, and I think if you're talking about the truth, the best move is always going to lead to a draw. So, um, yeah, I just try to be practical, and the goal is to win. So even if it's not, you know, correct or, or something along those lines, it, it doesn't really matter that much to me. Because there always are um, other ways of looking at the situation, other solutions. Um, you know, it's not, it's not a math formula where you have one solution. Right, so would you say it's not really about the correct move, but more about the circumstances that sort of guide you to a good move? You know, the opponent mm -hmm. you're playing, his style of play, maybe the time situation on the board? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I think time for sure plays a big role. When, when opponents are low on time, you're a pl player, whether it's me, whether it's another top player, we're much more likely to do something that perhaps is not the most correct move because your opponent has less time and perhaps if you play something different, they will, they're more likely to go wrong. So I think it's also about uh, the percentages and the probabilities of, of playing something where your opponent has more opportunity to make a mistake.